You know, one question I get asked a lot is if anyone from the shows or movies I've talked about has ever contacted me. And the truth is, yes, several times. I made a video with Cameron Kennedy from My Babysitter's a Vampire, Christy Carlson Romano from Even Stevens, I've interacted with Amy Beth McNulty from Anne with an E, Rahul Coley from iZombie, Pierce Joseph from Zombies 2, even Brad Kavanaugh from House of Anubis. And just recently, Netflix themselves reached out and said, So you think you're pretty funny, huh? I mean... Sometimes? All right, kid, here's Shadow and Bone two weeks early. Go make one of your dumb cartoon chuckle yucks. And here we are. Now, how they described the show to me was, The Hunger Games meets the fantastical lore of Harry Potter with an Ocean's Eleven-style high-stakes heist. I mean, come on, what am I gonna do? Say no? So what do you say we check out the new upcoming Netflix show whose name kinda sounds like some weird Sonic the Hedgehog fanfic? Shadow and Bone. But before that, really quick, this video is sponsored by Audible. If you don't know what Audible is by now, Audible is an online service that lets you download audiobooks, audio newspapers, and just like all kinds of spoken word entertainment. If you sign up now, you can start listening with a free 30-day Audible trial, which gets you one free audiobook from the premium selection, as well as full access to thousands and thousands of all-you-can-listen audiobooks, original entertainment, and podcasts included in the Audible Plus catalog. Now, like I said, Audible Plus is their new service that lets you download and stream as much as you want from thousands of titles including all Audible original content. Now, Audible originals are exactly what they sound like. Audiobooks are some kind of like audio entertainment thing that you can't find anywhere else. Or exclusive versions of books like The Adventures of Tom Sawyer read by Nick Offerman, for example. I'd recommend you sign up and listen to Hold Your Breath by Wendy Walker. It's like a whodunit mystery story about a psychiatrist interviewing the main character and everyone around her and slowly starts to piece together this like murder mystery story. Sign up with my link, audible.com slash Alex Myers or text my name Alex Myers to five 500, 500 start your Audible Plus membership and start streaming thousands of audiobooks today. Okay, back to the show. When I was young, I was afraid of the dark. When I got older, I learned that darkness is a place and it's full of monsters. Oh yeah, I get that. I mean, when I was a kid, I was afraid that being told I was talented and gifted would give me a heavily inflated sense of my own intelligence, and then as an adult, feel anxious and depressed all the time because I'd come to realize that I was actually pretty mediocre and not that special after all. But hey, darkness is scary too. Yeah, sure, whatever. I live in East Ravka, but I've never been welcome here. Because I look like my mother, and she looked like the enemy. I mean, how can you do that in here? The fold looks different on mine. I need to get a better view from your country. She grew up here. Come on. But they aren't the monsters. They're just boys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you and I apparently had very different high school experiences. Cause like, monsters will just eat you, but boys will hock loogies at you when you're at your locker and throw food at you across the lunchroom because you don't wear clothes from American Eagle. You see, that's why I liked hanging out with girls, because at least girls are always nice to each other. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't even pretend to say that with a straight face. Anyway, so here's our main character, Alina Starkov, an orphan girl who's currently a cartographer for the Ravka army, and she's being shipped off to a place called The Fold. We are never going to see go away. This abomination is here forever. You don't go to church. Just say to can summon the sun will destroy it. The Fold is this giant shadow smoke wall thing that was conjured up a long time ago by some powerful magic user person, who are called Grisha, by the way, and inside the Fold are these weird, like, shadow monsters or whatever. Now, the only way to get rid of the Fold is to use a Grisha called a Sun Summoner, but there's never actually been one, and they only exist in, like, stories and fairy tales. Hmm, I wonder if this information will become relevant at some point. Now, on this side of the Fold is our main character and her country of Ravka, and to the north and south are enemy countries, so the only way they can get supplies and trade and whatever is to periodically go through the fold and hope to survive. Is it real? Of course it's real. Then why cross it? Why not go around? Read the map. The north want our Grisha dead. The south guards its mountains. We have nowhere else to go. As for how to get through and traverse the other side of the fold, that's where map makers like Alina come in. Alina! Everyone's getting their assignments. Suppose cartography's heading back south? I found out because they're putting my unit with yours again. They're looking for a way through the mountains. Oh, so we're back together. They can't keep best friends apart for too long. This guy over here is Mal Yen, aka Mal, who's also an orphan and grew up in the same orphanage as Alina, hence why they're best friends. It also might help that Mal just so happens to be a big old slab of prime beef. <laughs> I bet Alina would sure like to fillet that mignon, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, later that day, the guy in charge of all the armies calls everyone together to talk about who's gonna go on the next supply run. Selecting names of what I call the Nightmare Lottery. <laughs> For the supply run across the fold, 
Sergeant Yuri Teplov. Tracker, Malien Oretsev. Corporal Mazianentov. The old eye unit. Rifleman, Valek Tapenio. Has to be. An error has to be. Finally. Didn't sound like an error, Mal. Well, turns out it's not, and Mal has indeed been selected to go through the fold. But I mean, come on, what's the worst that could possibly happen? It's like I always say, if you could survive junior high school, you could survive anything. Now that night, Alina doesn't get any food because in case you haven't noticed, she kind of looks a little different than everybody else. So Mal sneaks off to get her something to eat. You can get arrested for that. Stealing from Second Army will get you thrown in a hole. Maybe you should arrest me. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> okay, Mal. Just swinging for the fences. What's your name? I'm Mal. I'm Tracker. Zoya. I'm a scholar. When I get nerves the night before, I like to have a good tumble with a stranger. Code red, code red. Run for your life, Mal. It's an ambush. Code red. So he runs out of there as fast as he can because he doesn't want to get me them girl cooties and gives the bowl of fruit to Alina as they have a little heart to heart talk. Did you see the lieutenant? Turns out they do need me. I could shoot you in the foot. <laughs> <laughs> You're a terrible shot. <laughs> if it goes wrong, come back. You've lost enough to it already. I'll find my way back to you. So you two are uh, best friends, huh? Mm-hmm. Yep, heard that one before. Now the next day, it's time for Mal to ship off through the fold. But as you can probably imagine, everyone's feeling a little nervous about Mal having to help sail a sand ship through this Yu-Gi-Oh shadow realm over here. Not the least of which is Alina. Chin up. Crossed it three times that incident. You'll get your first soon enough. I'll be back before you know it. And I'll be here the whole time. Hot hot jeez. Okay. I'm having some serious high school PTSD flashbacks of me talking to literally any girl. Boys just suck so much. Harumph, harumph. Why can't I just meet one guy who's like not a total piece of garbage? Just this once. <laughs> well, hey, Kelsey. Uh, FYI, I just happen to be single at the moment. Anyway, now that the whole Mal going through the fold thing is like just about to happen, Alina realizes that she just can't imagine a world without Mal in it. You know, because they're best friends after all, wink wink, yup yup. And so her galaxy brain idea is to burn all the maps of everything that's beyond the fold so they have no choice but to add her and all the other cartographers to the crew of the ship. How are you doing here? We've been assigned with you. Turn around right now. Orders, orders. I could shoot you in the foot. I like my feet, thank you. Oh, I like your feet too, Alina. <laughs> but all the same, finally, they set sail through the fold. Now, they're supposed to sail the ship in complete darkness so they don't get noticed by whatever these shadow creatures are inside. But then this dude over here in his infinite wisdom is like, oh, hey, let me just light my lantern real quick. And then wham, bam, blah, 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 he gets monstered and drops his lantern, which explodes in a giant fireball because apparently this boat's made of like 50% cooking oil. And now, wouldn't you know, they're all being attacked by shadow monsters. But when Mal gets attacked by one of them shadow dudes, you'll never guess what happens. Just kidding. You can probably figure it out. Okay, show of hands and be honest now, who saw this coming? We then cut to two weeks later. And remember that friend zone Freddy kid from before, you know, the one who was all like, Haha, <laughs> you sure smell good, or like whatever he said. Well, now we see him like this, and everyone's wondering what exactly happened in the fold that day, because this guy ran out on foot after Alina went all like Super Saiyan or whatever, and everyone outside the fold was just like, <laughs> And on top of that, some very interested businessmen, shall we say, who all kind of dress like how I imagine those guys who put their IQ number in their dating profile probably do. Anyway, they would really like to know how he was able to get out of the fold like he did, and what exactly happened that day. Tell me what happened in the fold. You won't believe 
me, but this was his son summer now. Her name is Lena Starkov. And that's how the show gets started. Now, real talk here, I actually think the show is pretty cool. I mean, it definitely has that YA fiction kind of cheesiness that you always get for some reason, where, like, everyone and everything has these special names, you know, like the Sun Summoner and the Darkling or whatever. And characters say their fair share of lines that really don't make any sense. Here's how it goes. We go into the fold. It gets dark, but we like it dark. That keeps us from drawing attention. That's how we travel. But you're an Inferni, right? So why are you here if we're supposed to keep things dark? But when the dark comes to keep you. <laughs> yeah, okay, dude. But to be fair, it is an interesting idea. Like, the world is gorgeous, as Netflix is kind of known for at this point. And the setting is kind of different, I guess. Like, it's kind of like Romanov-era Russia, kind of. I guess it feels a lot like Fantastic Beasts in a way, but I, I just thought it was kind of cool. Now, the show premieres on Friday, April 23rd, so if this looks like your jam, go check it out. Not sponsored by Netflix, by the way. They didn't pay me anything. But to be completely honest, I did enjoy the show more than I thought I would, so maybe you will too. Now, I know a lot of you are probably going to say this and write this in the comments. I just want to say it right from the beginning. Like, I'm not speaking kindly about this show just because Netflix gave it to me early, okay? I know some of you probably think, that you're like, oh, of course you're going to be nice to the show because you want to have a good relationship with Netflix. Here's the thing. Here's why that's poppycock, whatever that phrase means. I've been talking about and making videos about Netflix shows for years now, usually like a week or two, sometimes a month or so after they come out. And that's how it's been up until now, right? So the fact that they gave me the show early is cool, you know, and they're like, hey, put the video out a couple of days early if you want. And I was like, yeah, don't mind if I do. If I hated the show, I thought it was dumb. I thought it was like on the same level as like Wink Saga or whatever, which I thought it would be when I first started. I've never read the books, know anything about it. I thought it was going to be cheesy and dumb. And I was surprised at how good it was. I was like, this is a lot better than I thought it would be. But if I thought it was dumb, I'd say so. And I'd make the video about it. And I would tear it down and say whatever I wanted. And if Netflix never gave me an another show early, it it would change nothing about how my channel works. You know what I'm saying? I don't rely on Netflix giving me stuff early. I'm not like a Chris Stuckman type channel where I have to like review the movie before it comes out. Like that has nothing to do with what I do. So to just, just so we're clear, like I'm not speaking highly of the show because of some like underground, you know, cloak and dagger under the table deal going on. Like I generally thought it was good. If I didn't think it was good, I'd say so. And then Netflix could just never email me again and my life would be exactly the same. You know what I'm saying? But all the same, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell so you don't miss any videos from me. Make sure you set it to always notify because YouTube just, YouTube loves to just add like 25 steps to you possibly ever seeing my videos, you know, cause that makes sense. Um, I have a podcast to do with my girlfriend. It's called Doing the Devil's Tango. It's like a dating advice, dating story type podcast so link is down below for that i have a game on the app store it's like a match three type game but it has my little dude's faces in it so if that's interesting to you download that send me an email at alexmyerscontact at gmail.com let me know what show or movie or whatever you think i should check out but above all that everybody have a great day and i'll see you all next time